it's Thursday. How's everybody? What is up? I am overly excited uh, to talk to you guys this morning. I mean, seriously, over the top excited. Um, as you guys are hopping on, please, please, please let me know where you're tuning in from, how your week's going, um, all the good things, all the good things. I know it's sometimes harder to find my videos now that I'm overdoing them on my business page, which is where you're at right now. Um, we've been trying to do the videos on this page. It just, um, it's easier as far as for you guys to comment, for us to get you the link to join the community, etc. Well, Tuesday, when Sarah and I did our Tasty Tuesday video, I got my phone all set up and I clicked go live and guess what? I was on my personal page instead of my business page. It was a total accident. However, it's there. So if you guys missed the Tasty Tuesday video uh, because you couldn't find it here, hop on over to my personal page. It is there um, along with some pretty good posts this week, I think. So my name is Amy Smith Hightower. I'm a ketogenic meal planner and mentor from Batesville, Arkansas, who have lost over 100 pounds following the ketogenic diet. Eh. I'll take it. It's pretty cool, right? Um, I'm told all the time, you need to own that, girl. You need to own that. Well, there you go. However, that's not what this is about. That's not who I, like, That that is who I am. That is what happened. That is my story. But my vision, my hope, my prayer, all of those good things are all about our totally free keto community. It is called Push For Your Better. If you are not currently in our totally free keto community, please write push in the comments below and we will get you added ASAP because that's where the fun happens. I'm just saying, we're pretty cool kids, right? Uh, 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 awesome, right? Okay, so that is that. And by the way, they have lost over, ready? Over two million pounds combined. That has been over a year ago since we did that. I think it's about time to do a new survey in there and see how much weight we've lost um, in 2020 and the end of 2019. I think it's time to do that. Guys, share this video, super important video. This, you may wanna share it on your personal page so you can go back to it when you're having a day. I'm, I don't have a, I do have a box that's over there, but I'm gonna be on my soapbox today. Just telling you, I'm fired up. Some things happened this morning I'm fired up to share with you about how you can, the, like nobody talks about the big secret. It's like everybody wants to lose weight, but nobody talks about this, like nobody. So I'm gonna tell you today. Oh, by the way, we do do, uh, we do do gift packs. So if you share this video in another group, etc., just write shared, and how many times you shared it in the comments below. And uh, we will actually send you prize packs. It's really cool. Sarah will write winner underneath you. She will contact you, get your address, and get you a prize pack in the mail. Um, I do know that we she's on Vistaprint currently. She's driving, but I do know she's on Vistaprint currently, and we are ordering some new things for those prize packs. Pretty cool, right? Absolutely cool. Okay, guys. Nobody talks about this. And I feel like I need to, because I feel like I need to share it with you. Guys, I mean, yes, keto's helped me lose the weight. I, I'm, I'm keto for life, it's a lifestyle. I'm off eight prescription medications, thanks to keto, all the good stuff, right? But here is what I need to tell you guys, okay? Your mood, how you view stuff, etc., is on you. And it's on, like your diet is not just what you put in your body. That's the big secret. Your diet is not, N-O-T, is not just what food you put in your mouth. It's not. It is also what you put in your brain. It is what you see. It is what you consume. It is all of those things relate to, are you ready? How much weight you lose. Anybody ever heard of cortisol? Hello, hello, hello. Um, it affects your weight loss. It actually will make you insulin resistant. 
It can actually even spike your blood sugar. What the crap? Nobody talks about that, guys. Nobody talks about it. I made a post on my personal page this morning. Please, if you've, if you've ever in your entire life read one of my posts, please go to my personal page. It's Amy Smith Hightower, super easy to find. I have a picture of me smelling a flower on my profile pic. I need you to know. Okay. I need you to know that that post, I want it to help people. I want you to write on there what you choose. Okay. You guys choose this. I, and I'm going to talk about myself. I literally had changed my morning routine and I don't even know when I did it. Okay. Oh crap. It's over there. But I didn't, um, I don't even know when it happened. I, and I think it started to happen, I think it started to happen in, around the end of January when the news started talking about the coronavirus, um, when it first started, when it was in China even, like, uh, I started watching, uh, the morning news on my local channel at 6 a.m. I had to get Thomas up and off to work, by the way. So I started watching it at 6 a.m. And then I would leave it on, watch an hour of news. I mean, I was doing other stuff, but I was watching the news and I would watch the first 30 minutes of the Today Show at least the first 30 minutes. Sometimes I got sucked in for like longer than that. But at least every morning I started doing that. I was drinking either my go or my, if I could talk, I was either drinking my coffee or my go and I watched the news. And guys, it affected me. It did. It affected my mental health. It affected how I dealt with people. It affected my outlook on life. It affected me. Um, I grew actually have a hold of my emotional eating now, three years later, but I noticed that my husband started emotional eating and that man, I didn't know he had an emotion. Like seriously, like he's the most unemotional human out there. But I will say this, at least with him being unemotional, like he doesn't blow up. He's like the calm, steady hand. You know what I mean? Like nothing really affects him. He stays super calm. He's the one that's like, you know, I, we always say in our like anniversary post, et cetera, that, um, he's my roots and I'm his wings. And it's because of the fact that he grounds me. He keeps me centered. And I can notice that he was starting to affect his emotions. And that's scary because like I said, he didn't have emotions. So, and I noticed that it was affecting not only me, but guys, my social media feed, was out of control. People are stressed. People are scared. Okay. People are scared. I don't know. I mean, they just are. People are just 2020. If you have had a good 2020, drop me a heart in the comments below. If you have had struggles in 2020, drop me a three in the comments below. If you've had struggles with this in 2020, drop me a three in the comments below. And literally guys, it's not just us, but I'm telling you right now, the big, big secret to weight loss is you have to understand that your diet and your lifestyle is not just the food you put in your mouth. It is what you consume. It is who you surround yourself with. I made a conscious decision. Oh, Catherine's on. She might help me with the date, but I made a conscious decision. I believe it was around February of 2019. It's actually when I joined Modair. Um, Kether and I got on a plane. I don't know if you maybe knows the story. We got on a plane. Nobody other than my family knew where I was headed. She was flying in from Toronto. I met her in Salt Lake City. Um, we had like a three-day meeting with our good friends, Sarah and Tony Z, Tony Zalecki, and um, some other, Justin Prince was there. There were some others, Justin, Sarah, um, Craig, Shane, all these amazing corporate people from Modair. And I will never forget, we were sitting in a restaurant. We walked, it started snowing from our hotel right down the city. Um, I think we were in Provo, not necessarily Salt Lake at that time. I think we were in Provo, Utah. And I remember sitting down and Catherine and I had a conversation about this exact subject, about what you consume and who you surround yourself with. I made a conscious decision that night that my inner circle and my people that I talk to every single day and who I surrounded myself with would have good vibes. 
Good vibes doesn't mean you have bad days, okay? Good vibes does not mean you have bad days. I have bad days, guys. I'm getting like super emotional about this right now. I have bad days, okay? Um, I'm going, th like, there's some really tough stuff, really tough personal stuff that I have to deal with and I've been dealing with. And actually, I'm on the other side of it now and trying to like grieve and heal from it um, and move on. Like, your life has to go on past tough situations. You just have to, or you're going to be miserable. What kind of life is that? But I can tell you this. I'm not telling you to put your head in the sand and not pay attention to what's going on in the world. That is not what I'm saying. But what I'm saying is get you a gratitude journal. Write every day what you're grateful for. Okay? Turn the news off. Go sit outside and get you some vitamin D because that will affect your mood. And I know Catherine's probably going, oh my God, they're telling me this all the time. And it's true. Turn the TV off, go outside, get you some vitamin D, write down what you're grateful for. Do that for 30 days. This is not a quick fix. Not a quick fix. Start over every 30 days. And when you see yourself struggling, go outside, get that journal. Okay? Write down what you feel that you have in your life to be grateful for right now, today. Please, 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 in the comments below, do that. Write to me what you're grateful for today. This is an important, like, this may be one of the most important Facebook Lives you've ever watched of mine. And I've done thousands. I've been doing this for three years, guys. Okay, thousands. This may be the most important Facebook Live you ever watch. Because you get to choose your mood. Okay, you choose it. Not your ex-husband, not your mother-in-law, not anybody. Sickness doesn't get to choose it. Cancer doesn't get to choose it. Death doesn't get to choose it. You choose your mood. You get to choose how you react to what's going on in the world. Okay? Do something positive about it. Sitting on social media and bashing people is not going to cure anything. Okay? It's not. It is not going to cure anything. Going up to someone in TJ Maxx and jumping them because they don't have a face mask on is not the cure. You do you. You choose what you can handle. Okay? You mind your business. You mind your life. You get to choose that. Okay? Death doesn't get to choose it. Cancer doesn't get to choose it. Nobody in the world gets to choose your mood but you. Okay? Sorry, one of my grandfathers is a deacon in the Baptist church and one of them was a Methodist minister. So I think I went a little preachy on that and I'm sorry, didn't mean to. That was like the Southern girl getting up on the pulpit and like raising your hands because that's pretty much what I just did. But guys, go back and watch this. When you're having a horrible day and you notice that all of these things are affecting your mood, get that gratitude journal, get your cell phone, Go sit on your back deck, get you some vitamin D, watch this video again. Um, if you guys want me to, I will share this and push for your better as soon as I'm done. That way you can go in the group and do it. If you guys are not in push for your better, please, please, please drop push in the comments below and we'll get you added there, okay? That's super important. But do these things for me and, and message, send me a private message on my personal page and reach out to me if you're struggling with this. Let's do this together. I'm there, guys. I'm rededicating myself to being grateful and controlling my mood. And if you come at me with your negativity, you're gonna, you better have a solution to it. Not you, guys. But I'm just saying people in general. Bring me your negativity. And I'll give you like five minutes of time. And I will tell you, look, let's choose your mood. How do we move past this? Because that's what we're going to do. Because I... Catherine tells me every single day, if it costs you your peace, you can't afford it. And I need you guys to remember that. And I need you guys to take hold of that. If it costs you your peace, you can't afford it. Thanks, guys. Have a fantastic day. Share this video out. Sorry I got on the soapbox, but send me a private message if you need help with this. Have a fantastic day, and we'll see you on the inside at Push For Your Better.